to me, Karai Foundation has helped me a lot. Right now, I can communicate in English, in English necessarily because of them. Kalai Musgen Children Home started in early 90s as an orphanage for HIV children home. But later, after 2007 post election in 2008, we were joined by uh, a children that was affected in Dolet. Uh, it was called Sugoi Children Home. And they came and later collaborated with the orphanage that was here in 2008. And that they formed together and became one board, whereby they started now becoming, and it was registered now as Karai Children Most Genome, where we have different types of children within us. So at first it started as an orphanage for the orphans, because this area it seems that uh, we, we are told that the area was so much affected uh, with parents who used to die because of HIV and they leave their children. But now the Sugoi team came with the street children. So they collaborated and became a home for the two, for the orphanage and for the street. Uh, my law is to ensure that all the basic needs of the children are met and to organize and ensure that everything they desire, including mobilization of resources, budgeting, controlling, supervising of their activity, at least they are met to the best interest of their children according to the children's heart. Uh, PAG is a group that comes together for almost individuals that are around between 60 to 80 people that they have come together to support any children's home or any person who is in need. So what's, what's my purpose as an MC and why am I in this? It's also as a person to contribute to see that, that every individual kid under any children's home and part of something to enjoy about. To give to the locality, to some extent I hype the kids. I told you we're three MC, MC Masika, MC Tony and MC Madenge. So all of us, we are given, MC Masika does team building, MC Tony already, I know right now as we are talking, he's doing the hype or, because I came early, so I'm doing the hype. I did my hype section, so MC Tony is doing the other part. So it's all about making these kids feel that at the end of the day, we live. At the end of the day, we have a purpose to enjoy, even if because we have challenges, that doesn't matter that you need to feel sorrowful. As a Skarai, we don't do rescue. We collaborate around with other children homes that do rehabilitation. In mind, we deal with two types of children. One, we say, is the orphans and the street. So our street children, we get them from their rehabilitation centers that have gone through the rescue from the street, and then they've gone through the rehabilitation of the drugs. Then they do a referral to us for us to continue to support these children in their psychosocial need, counseling, and education. But on orphanage cases, we collaborate along with the community members, the chief, the um, area adversary, the member who are standing alone for their children in the area, the churches around, and we, we reach out to them to be able to know vulnerable cases. This is whereby we will send our social workers to the ground and identify the cases. The, the cases have been already been identified, so we go to um, uh, we, we go to like check is the case is true and then with the help of the chief and the assistance of the community elders we are able to get the child uh, in our centre but also we have to collaborate along with the children department whereby they have to get a committal for them to be here. Jina ni Steve Waweru. Mimi, mimi, mimi ni mwanafunzi wa Karai Children's Home. Nimekapa kwa miaka nane, ambapo niliweza kufanya, nilianza, niliweza kuanza masomo yangu ya primary. Ambapo nilifanya kwanza class one, mpaka class eight. Nikaweza kumaliza, na hapo na hapo, mimi sikuweza kufaulu katika kuenda secondary school. Nikafanya, nikapele kwa vocational, so basically one of the common uh, things we offer to our children is education. So despite us meeting their physical need or their basic needs, food, shelter, clothing, 
we have a program whereby they wake up at around six in the morning to prepare for the school because Kalai children, it, it, it's, it's, it's three in one, whereby we have a primary school, we have a vocational, and then we have the home. But the home is the backbone for the two. So our children wake up at six, they prepare and take breakfast around 6.30. And by 6.40, they, 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 they are able to go to school. We have somewhere in day school whereby they prepare and by 7 they, they go to, to their day school. And now their routines start from there in the, where the school take over. But now they come back, uh, the lower classes come back at 3. As they come back now, you know, they, they'll do their washing, the cleaning, and then later they'll do their homeworks as we wait for them to rest. But the upper classes come back at 5. They, they shower, a list, and then they do the homeworks. Then we have an evening counseling, a follow-up to, to find out how was the school, were there different cases going on. And um, some on the weekday we have different activities that learn out. Apart from the school curriculum, uh, as the home team on weekends, we have a team of football that goes to train in uh, Kikoyo Teachers Training College. And we have other sub programs that are divined in, in terms of counseling, in terms of so preparing like like crises that are living in classics, preparing them to reboot back their home. Having a home and school, our home with all our school is also open to community children. We are partially 50% oh, of the children we interact with are from community children who come to school together with our children. So they have inter-programs together in school and outside the school. We have an initial care plan uh, form that as we admit this child, we are able to assess their needs. We are able to monitor and evaluate. After we have analyzed the case and we have started documenting the issues that are coming around, we have social workers, caregivers who are also trained as counselors. As even they go to sleep or we interact around together, we are able to start working step by step with this child and able to help them adapt the system and bond together in order for them to open up their issues and feel free to talk. If the, the counseling issues are very intense or it requires medics, professional counselors or something, we refer them to different types of counselors who are located for children. Like we contact the child line 116, they have counselors whereby we can get professional or intense counseling for the child. Or also we have volunteers who have done counseling and are able to book session and session. Nilipokuja Karai, mimi waliweza kukaa na mimi katika meza moja ambapo wali, walitaka sana nibadilike. Na mimi kwa kweli mimi ni kijana kutoka street. Mimi ukiniangalia hivi nimekaa zaidi ya miaka kumi huko nje. Na sikuwa na tambua nini ama nini. Unajua tu venye maisha inakuanga huko hivi. Ilibidi mimi niweze kukaa nao katika kikao kimoja ili niweze kubadilika. Kwa hakika nilibadilika na mimi ndio waliweza kuona ni vizuri kweli nimebadilika na nikaanza masomo yangu. At times parent of each student comes to claim them. But on a layer cases because one before we do the um, admission of this child either you are a guardian either you are an uncle auntie whoever once we do a tracing and find out this this child belongs to a certain community we have a, a consent form for the parent or a guardianship that uh, they sign and agree that this child they have around their child or their grandchild or their relative child to be here and they have to leave a copy of their ID, they have to give us a birth certificate, every form that we need. So that means legally they have accepted the child to be here. And now it's also two-way traffic. 
We don't keep our children here entirely. Once they close school or over their holidays, we always unite them back to their family. Why? Because at the end of the day, this child needs a sense of belonging. At class 8, we exit them back. We have an outreach program whereby we, we allow them, as this child is building from class 1 to class 8, we ensure that at least once or twice in every all in the season, they are boarding with the grandma, the auntie, you know. Now, because at class 8 now, we exit them to, uh, we support them in high school on an outreach program. And as even this child comes to take, because we don't just tell them, go. We have a Lily's form where the guardian or the parent or whoever is concerned will come and sign and agree. On this date I have agreed to pick him and I will return him on this, you know, and the signature has to be there. As also they come back, the return form is there, they will sign and agree. For a period of three months, I've agreed my child to be under your guardianship or under your shelter. To me, Karae Foundation has helped me a lot. Right now, I can communicate in English, in English necessarily because of them. I wasn't able to communicate in English anyway. So I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Karai Foundation. And our big support to our German. I really love the heart they are, they, their heart, I mean. These kids today, we are making them happy today. These kids will kneel down and say, remember a specific person because he or she was here. My desire is this, please come together with all those money, build a children's home somewhere. Fund those kids who don't have education. They are very elite people who, have who, who, who wish to have this education, but because of lack of, it, of funds, I wish you people can fund them and fund them, fund 10. Because with a million, you do it for for whole year, for whole uh, for whole, uh, four years. I don't know the grading and all that. I wish this, that's my desire today. As Karai grows in so many years, they are looking forward to see where we will have created much more impact to our children, whereby they can have a sense of belonging and they can become a source of hope to the rest of the hopeless. We are looking forward to impact our children with the four sectors, psychosocial, spiritual, economical, whereby they can be able to be effective members in the community.